So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to include fitness in your everyday lifestyle. I think that is the smartest choice you can make starting now. Let's get right into it. What's going on, everybody? You're tuned in with the Life Chad, checking out exactly what I have to offer you. In today's video, I'm going to teach you the easiest way. It's not easy. You got to put the work in, but the easiest way to get started on physical activity. Let's go. I'm gonna give you a few goals that you can achieve. If you listen to just any of this advice, your life is bound to get better. Now this video is the bare minimum you can do to be a healthy, active human being. And this may be the start for some of you. Like I said, this is the bare minimum. Now you're not gonna be Bradley Martin off of these set of rules that you're gonna follow, but may help you shed a pound or two each week. On a side note, people that want to lose weight, obviously their goals are going to be slightly, you know, different from those that want to gain mass. Like I said, you're not going to turn into Bradley Martin induced bodybuilding, or you're not going to lose 100 pounds in the first week. So there's no hack to it. You should want to do it. And if you clicked on this video, that means you wanted to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to include in your life is cardio. If you, if you do this every day, it's gonna be crazy, but if you do this like three to four times a week, that alone is great, phenomenal. You're better than the next guy if you're doing more than him. Now I suggest daily 10 minutes of high intensity training for cardio. Now, when I say high intensity, that just means giving your all. You wanna feel that in your chest when you're done. The heart rate means you did a good job. Some great things you can do, for 10 minutes a day, I want you to pick one every day, Monday through Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all of the above. Number one, jogging. If you can pick up walking, fast walking, or even jogging, that is the best thing you can do for yourself. I promise you. If you don't want to go jog outside, jog and play. Yeah, my heart's beating. You can get the same workout from doing it right in your room than from going outside and jogging down the street. Like... You're gonna notice it. One thing you might wanna pick up is jumping jacks again. People forgot about our, our old friend jumping jack. <laughs> you're working all parts of your body when you're doing jumping jacks because you got all types of motion going on. Whew, getting tired. I'm getting a workout in and just making this video. My all time favorite, burpees. Now, if you don't know what a burpee is, some people call them down ups, especially in football. I'm gonna do a couple. Here's what a burpee looks like. Four. Burpees are probably the best cardio you can do. High intensity. Do that for five minutes or six minutes. Three or four minutes will do it, man. I'm beating off of like three of those. Moving on. Jogging, jumping jacks, burpees. Five to ten minutes every single day. Try to grow if you can. After those five to ten minutes, start becoming easy. Now, this is my favorite. We like having big chests and we like having big old arms for women to look at. Now, if you want to achieve those, you can do that in the comfort of your own home. How might you do that, they might ask me. My good old friend, push-ups. Now, for those of you who don't know what a push-up is, the one push-up. Ah, oh, I got a wrist injury, I'm doing it. That was just five. Push-ups are the key to upper body growth because you can do them till failure. You could do sets. You can go slower if you need to. Really work on definition. The guys out there, I'm gonna say 50 push-ups a day, 50. That may seem like a lot to some, that may seem like a little to others. 50 push-ups doesn't mean like 50 straight. That's hard to do, I could do that, cause I'm freaking, you know. If you need me to, I can do it, okay? That's all I'm saying. 10 sets of five will do it, or five sets of 10. Start with 10 sets of five. And then when that becomes easy to you, do five sets of 10. All my jockeys out there, you're gonna get huge, big, gorilla looking chest all right that's all all right and those who want a good core strength we all want to have some good abs right you gotta you gotta exercise the core the core is one of the things you probably should be doing every day i'm gonna make it easy on you because you're just starting out three times a week that could be monday wednesday friday that could be monday wednesday saturday any way you want or if you want to achieve more go ahead and do more the more you put in the more you get out of it that's how life works Push yourself, you'll get a little out of it. Planks, you gotta do, try to do a plank for one minute. If you really want a good, like, solid frame, do a plank for one minute, five times a day. You can spread it out. Do a one minute when you wake up, one after lunch, one after dinner, 
one after video games, one before you go to bed, you know what I mean? That you could fit it in all over the place. So you could do them all straight. For those of you who like jogging and the idea of jogging, try to jog for five minutes, three times a week. Five minutes is literally running around the cul-de-sac a couple times. If you have a dog, that's even better. Take him with you. He could use exercise. If you're not getting enough exercise, I guarantee your dog isn't. Or even on a walk. Take your dog on a walk. He's bored and inside all day long. You can't take him outside. Now remember, this is not something you're going to do for one week and be good. This is something you're developing over weeks and weeks and months. So starting today, maybe you should try to achieve a couple of the goals I've given you. Or you should grab a piece of paper like I did and write it all out. Like, what are you gonna do on Monday? And put little check boxes so you can check those boxes and see how much you're getting done. Making check boxes and checking them boys off is a whole different lifestyle. Cause you're gonna notice how much you get done. And you're gonna be able to keep track of everything you get done. This is, this is my homework checklist. It looks great. Okay, now we've covered cardio and I've given you some building blocks to muscle and core. Now I wanna go over legs briefly. For women, especially, you guys like having nice butts. I got a nicer butt than most of you, but do some squats. Activate those butt muscles. That is the best advice I have for you when it comes to an at-home workout. So when it comes to eating, most of you guys probably eat like dirt. Your body doesn't know what it's intaking. Your stomach acids are probably on fire. You need to eat regular meals, okay? So even if that being like a bowl of cereal in the morning, a sandwich for lunch, and mom's home-cooked dinner. Okay, you just had three solid meals, and then maybe, yeah, a snack or two. People always love coming up with excuses. Oh, I don't have fruit. Go to Kroger, don't go to McDonald's. Go to Kroger, buy yourself a bag of grapes. Grapes are good for you. On the back of probably everything you've eaten, there's something called the nutrition facts. Now, the nutrition in this Arnold Palmer can is probably horrible, because it's sugar and everything. I got the lights though, they're not that bad for you. But the nutrition facts are gonna teach you everything you need to know about your diet. Now, I can't explain all that to you in this video, but if you wanna learn more about nutrition facts, look it up, Google. But for women, try to eat 1,600 to 2,000 calories a day. That's pretty healthy and that's average. And for men, try to eat 2,000 to 2,800 calories a day. That's average. A lot can go wrong with your diet. You need to have a maintained diet. That's one of the best things you can do for yourself. I'll make a whole nother video on just diet alone. Drop it down in the comment section if you want me to do that. Now the last bit of advice I have to offer you is get a good night's sleep. Put the phone down fucking 20 minutes before you usually put the phone down. No, do it 30 minutes before you usually put the phone down because you're probably scrolling on TikTok and Instagram. Put your phone down, let your eyes relax, let your body relax and fall asleep. And get a good eight hours in or seven if you need seven or 10 if you need 10. I slept for like 12 hours last night and the night before I slept for 13. I need a lot of sleep, okay? I've been, get, I've been trying to get in the habit of waking up earlier so that I can have more daytime. So yesterday it sucked. I tried going to sleep at like 10.30. I put my phone down on my desk. I charged it and everything and I'm laying in my bed. I literally couldn't fall asleep. It felt like forever and I checked my watch on my other desk over there. I was laying there for two hours before I could fall asleep. I'm sure you guys have the same problem, bro. You just can't pick up your phone. You gotta discipline yourself and just learn to relax. Wind down. <sighs> fall asleep. There you have it, everybody. That is my basic beginner guide to including fitness in your everyday lifestyle. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how young you are. It doesn't matter how heavy you are. It doesn't matter how skinny you are. It doesn't matter how much you know. You can begin at some point in your life. My favorite quote is everybody starts somewhere, okay? Whether it be from a YouTube video they learn a couple things off of or how I learned, okay? Everybody's different. Setting aside 10 minutes a day makes a difference. 10 minutes. 10 minutes every single day. You could do that, right? There's, there's 1,440 minutes in a day, okay? You can set aside 10 of those to just run around, do some push-ups, squat a little bit. Let me know if this was a helpful video. I think this is a good way to get fitness in your lifestyle. It's not a heavy approach. It's something you can manage and it's there's definitely plenty of things. So I want you to save this video, maybe take some screenshots, you know, take some notes. Whatever it, whatever it gotta be, that you can implement this in your everyday lifestyle. I'm telling you, rinse and repeat that boy. Just like the dishes, you gotta do the dishes every now and then, you gotta work out every now and then, you gotta run. You gotta get that heart pumping so it doesn't die on you. Save yourself. That's all I got for you guys today. Um, how was my beginner's guide? Let me know. Yeah, so let me know what you think in the comments below if you picked up a thing or two. 
10 minutes a day. It's not that hard. This has been the life of Chad. Thank you for tuning in. Check out another video if you messed with this one. Stay fit, stay healthy, stay active, stay positive. And let's get it, baby. You may be thinking, oh, I'm going to do this. And then as soon as the video is over, you're going to walk outside and it's cold. And you're like, oh, no, I'll start next summer. No, just start today. You got this. Trust me.